All right, welcome back, everybody. We hope you enjoyed your 10-minute break. Moltraff and I definitely enjoyed it. There's even a picture from break on uh, my Twitter, so nice. get in there and hashtag the GSL. Pound GSL, and then uh, look up Moltraff and I. He's, of course, at Moltraff. I'm at DoSC. Check it out. Spread the word about the GSO. We want everybody watching this because those first two matches were amazing. Now, um, speaking of amazing moments, what did we get? Uh, for, it's looking uh, like that the most, kind of like the most mentioned. We actually, you know, I, I told Doa before the break, I was like, you know what? I think people are probably just going to say Boxer's Nuke. I don't think anyone's going to say anything different. But we are actually seeing a few yeah. other ones. For instance, Holy Check 22 believes that the most epic moment of Code A this season was when we wore pink shirts. Uh, yeah, that was epic. Which was pretty epic. And, um, but yeah, most people are talking about the nuke. It's hard um, to... It, Arion's talked about the, that whole that whole sequence where he EMP'd all the sentries and then did the nuke just at the finale. Yeah. Definitely, definitely very epic. But we see a few other things as well. Um, someone actually mentioned Basarm mentioned that he thought that the games between Min and MVP were very epic. And I thought the last game last game was definitely yeah. uh, definitely an intense game, especially, you know, the early mid-game. It looked like Min was going to take MVP out. And uh, now, he just uh, came from behind with superior long game mechanics, I think. And now we're going to get to see MVP play again Speaking this time. Speaking of which... He's playing Violet, a Zerg that has been surprising a lot of people by getting a lot of pretty impressive wins. But can he beat... I'm MVP, possibly the best StarCraft II player alive right now. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely. See. We'll find out in just a moment. All right, here we have the challenger, our Red Zerg player down at the bottom of Terminus. He is the one, the only. MVP Violet. MVP Violet. The challenger appears. Former uh, Warcraft 3 Pro, there he is plays for MVP, a newer team, but they've really been impressive this season in Code A. They had a lot of people qualify. This is his first time in the GSL. Making great showing so far, getting all the way to the round of eight. Yeah, man, he's in the up and down MVP. matches at the very least. Yeah, yeah, he could find himself in Code S next season. I'd say it's, I'd say everybody who made it to the round of eight this season definitely has a good chance of getting into Code S. There's nobody who, uh, who I kind of see and I'm like, well, I, I don't know. But really, everyone I think they could. But here he is, the beastly Terran himself, two-time winner of different GSL championships. He is... I am MVP. I'm MVP. The best mechanics in StarCraft II right now That's for right. a Terran player. I uh, I know you like Lucira. You think he I has do. good mechanics. I he's still he's think the only person I really think could compare right now, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe. It's just, I don't know. Um, MVP though. I mean, you know, I've said this before. He was a he was a high level Brood War player already. Yeah. And to be at the level of Brood War that he was at, you have to have ridiculous mechanics. I mean, yeah. You know, Flash has the best mechanics ever known to man. Maybe Jadong. You know, one of the two. And he actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Flash, so that means you have to be on top of your game to be able to do that. And this is a really cool little wall off here. He's actually yeah, walling off forward of that other choke so that he can't just break down the rocks to avoid the wall off. That if, he, if he completes this wall, he will have three free bases. Oh, but you look what Violet's doing. He's brought multiple drones up to try to prevent that from happening. That's actually pretty cool. If Violet can actually get in there, this could end up backfiring on MVP, but I love the yep. idea. And well, he does oh, have the spawn fast pull up Roach already. Warren. He's making some Zerglings. There's a Roach and a Roach Warren. Yeah, and a Roach Warren as well. So he's just gonna try. This? He says, you want a macro game on the macro map? No, I'm gonna Roach bust you. Yeah, this is kind of starting to look like possibly oh, an no. all in from Violet. MVP sees the Lings coming. He needs to complete that wall pretty quickly. He's going to need to produce enough Marines, too, to handle those uh, Zerglings, but the hairless, terrifying bunnies will make their way across he's, the map. What is he doing? He's not hes not building any more buildings. Well, he's probably just going to assume that he's got oh enough Marines to handle the early Lings, but he doesn't know there's roaches on the way. This is so... Is he going to find out? That one Zergling is not going to be enough, and there's no Queen out. Yeah, he's just holding the middle with Marines, and he does go in there. Oh, is he going to see, see it? The Roach is he going to see, see the Roach Warren? He sees the lack of expansion. Uh, 
wow, MVP has got to know what's up now. Yeah, pulling he's running his greens right back. Away. He's got to start building bunkers oh, uh, and start getting the siege tanks. Exactly, two gases going down or a second gas going down, so we can try and get the tanks as fast as possible. There are no more drones being produced. Never mind. Now there are. <laughs> There's another hatchery going down. So Violet. He just doesn't have the all-in at well, this point. Yeah, let's to expand see. as well, but he's going to be able to put on some pressure with these early roaches and links. Well, he's he's building an overlord. How much? The though? roach warren is up. Yeah, he's actually he's taken, know. and there's a few roaches. He's going to put a lot of pressure on here, but he has switched up into economy at this point. He's going to need to have some and good control. Going back to those bunkers. Well. And MVP making as many marines as possible before evacuating is now going to run back up to the top here. He needs to get some SCVs. Are almost losing a roach there. So Violet, I don't think is going to be able to really push in and do any damage no. right now. What's and the worker count? And he did switch that? exactly back into drones as soon as he made those roaches. All right, a little bit behind. F only though. 15 harvesters to 23 SCVs. But uh, a wise move. I think. I think that was the best thing he could have done to play that. A very smart move. Um, you know, when he realized it had been scouted, he's playing against MVP, the best Terran in the world. He knows MVP is going to respond properly. Yeah. So at that point, you know, you, you already make him spend the money on the on the bunkers, and you can put on some pressure with the roaches you already made. But it's probably not going to kill him. So you need to fall back and use that map control to get a longer game out of it. Very probably, very smart by Violet. Probably doesn't want a long game against MVP either. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yep. The longer the game goes on. The more likely it is that the better player will win, which in this case I think is MVP. But you know, well, Violet Violet's is, up there. You know, you, you can't you can't discount Violet's, your own abilities. You have to say, you know what? I can take him. I can take him in a macro fight. You gotta you gotta have that you confidence. Do it. You're so inspiring, Mole Trap. You make me feel like I can beat MVP. You right can now. beat MVP in I a macro you. match with you, with your help. Just between you and me, viewers, you probably couldn't. What? What was that? Nothing. Okay. It was complimentary. Oh, losing a lot of links there. Tech Lab going down for MVP. There's the tank. Siege mode's almost complete. Tank. Yep. Probably going to move back out and try and take the bottom of his ramp once that siege mode gets up because then, I mean, he's got to know that Violet is macroing in the background. And in fact, has just taken the lead with 31 drones to 29 SCVs. Yep. So. Right now, Baneling Ness Evolution Chamber going down for Violet. Ooh. And uh, yeah, he definitely is the underdog getting his third base as well. I really like that decision by Violet. Absolutely no reason to not take a third base right now. Yep. Although and, he is uh, going to need to deal with this little push coming across the field from MVP. Possibly. MVP uh, moving across, getting Violet to produce 12 Zerglings. Those could have been six drones. Yep. That's very smart. Yep. Put in some pressure on there. And also, I mean, MVP doesn't know what's out there. So. He doesn't want to run out there with his tank and his 10 marines and suddenly 20 zerglings surround him, kill him, and then he loses the game. So it makes sense to just fall back, play it a little bit more macro. Macro, by the way, if anyone is watching the GSL for the first time, macro referring to um, like macro, macro, macro economy. Right. Macro meaning doing things on a grander scale, producing more units, getting more economy as opposed to micro, which is micromanaging your units and moving them around specifically and manually trying to get the most out of them. Right, right. One is making all the buildings that you need and then making use of those buildings the most yeah. efficient way and, and, and the of other course, moving your units in combat. And of course that's what separates the highest level gamers is they are able to do both at the same time. They're yep. able to switch back and forth and do their macro and make all their units and make all their economy and build their buildings while simultaneously paying attention to their units and, and getting the full effect out of it. It's like playing a piano, only the keys are all in different places around the room. And you have to remember which key makes which note as you run around the room. It is very akin to playing a piano. Yep. Which is, uh, going up for MVP. you know, MVP I violent. played piano once. Oh, really? Yeah, That's I played it. saxophone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually did. I did. T I took piano lessons for a couple of years in college. I see. One year piano lessons. I took music theory for a couple of years. You just played a lot of it. Didn't you? Uh, I did. You're just like the music man. Sort of. I wrote yeah. a song about I sang Iowa. also. I actually was in the choir for a couple years. Yeah? Cool. Do you have a method? 
A method for uh, people to learn music? For uh, you? No. Oh. No. I thought you were making like a Method Man joke. No, I was making a Music Man joke that's a reference to a musical called right. the Music Man. Not a lot of people out there probably got that. <clears throat> Maybe not. I watched a lot of musicals growing up. All I know is that the hills and ramps of Terminus Re are alive with the sound <laughs> of Zerglings <laughs> running around them. And look at this That's overlord right. spread. If you could look at the bottom left of your mini map for just a moment, look at all those overlords checking oh. to make sure no drops go down. Infestation and infestation pit. pit. I nice. Like it. He is just going mass zergling baneling. He has those three roaches from before. He's just got nothing else but zerglings, banelings, and drones. He has droned up to almost full saturation on all three of his bases right now, and just gearing up for some crazy play. And He's building up yeah. gas so when that. Uh, infestation pit pops out. He's gonna be able to start getting upgrades and stuff. Oh, he might be in trouble here though because MVP starting to crawl across the map, sending a drop at the same time. And there's not creep connecting the main to any of the other bases, oh. so it's gonna take a little while to respond to this. Violet needs to move back in. Here come the Banelings oh, and the Zerglings, and the Marines jump up into the medevac. Nicely done. Magically floating away as the Overlord. Oh, watches. we should go drop Marines on those Banelings. Yeah. If you uh, kill only a single Marine with a Baneling, it's not cost effective. So actually, that's a little tip for you guys. If your opponent runs in Banelings and you lift up, drop single Marines at a time on top of their Banelings if they don't have anti-air, which Revilet does not. And uh, you can actually take out more than you lose by doing that. And uh, sometimes you can get really lucky and even uh, two Banelings can explode at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So that Marine getting picked back up again. He drew the short straw. Those roaches are like, ah! He's like sitting in the medevac with the other Marines, only he's covered with acid. Oh, Overlord going down, and again, MVP doing great job harassing with these Marines right now. This is really good. I wonder if he's going to actually drop into the Banelings. Oh, oh, he's oh, it's oh, he dropped it on the Zerglings. Oh, they, that was the Marine that was covered by all the acid. He wanted to get him out of the medevac. Fourth yeah. base going up for Violet. And That's going to need going to be down, maybe. Yep. Might decide to cancel. He might get yeah, there. Yeah, is he gonna save it? The Zergling's coming in. But he will. He's gonna have to lift up. Yep. Took a chunk out of the uh, health of that hatchery, though. And if you'll notice on the production tab, a hive already on the way, as well as a spire. So he's going to be moving right into Broodlords. It looks like as well. I thought he was getting that infestation bit just so that he could get, you know, lots of infestors and Zerglings. We do see a lot of Zerg players doing that. Oh, Another he's dropping dropping. the main and the right side expansion at the same time. Wow, there's Burls the drones, tasking. nicely done. MVP needs to lift those up. Does lift a few up and back in the main. He's been forced back as well. Saved most of his troops though. Yep. So nice response. I was just about to criticize Violet's response to be honest. About how he wasn't really sending his troops where the drops were very quickly even when he knew they were coming. But he is doing a good job of minimizing the damage. Yeah, well the one thing that you don't see a lot of players doing right now is getting Burrow you know, if they don't plan on doing like burrowed banelings or burrowed roach or infestor movement, just, I mean, it's a cheap upgrade. You get it fast, you can do things like burrow the drones if you get dropped. It's really, really helpful. Yeah, it's very nice. And Speaking of drops, that one's not going to happen, or it might happen. We'll see. No. MVP deciding not to. He did see some units there. And he's keeping them off balance. You know, I was just watching um, Artosis' interview with MVP that he put up on his YouTube last week, and... He was asking about, you know, how, you know, basically some Terrans are having trouble. How can you, how can you oh, win? Kind of thing. And oh no, some Burrow Banelings there. My favorite thing in the world, Bull Trap. One of my favorites, definitely. I love watching it happen. Although tanks are going to be very good. Oh no! Here comes oh, the, the bio. Marines. Oh, he might work. Oh, He's the next Marines. to it. Oh. Oh. oh, the ones at the back even exploding too. They just got so excited they wanted to join in, and here it comes. Oh, Violet, the killing blow. Bungle on those Marines in oh. the tank, but there's too many tanks in the background. Yep. And he runs back away. Not enough to really kill everything off. I think he probably could have done more damage, but he would have lost too much, and MVP would have had the chance to move in. Yeah, he slows him down for the moment, which is really kind of the point of that good decision there. But MVP moving inexorably forward. And more Marines getting oh, no. taken out. Nice fungal. Yep. That's what you need to do. You fungal those. Now he does have the combat shield, so the fungal doesn't quite kill him. Actually, those marines are all one hit. Oh, that queen's nice. gonna go down though. Nice. Violet.